Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Why are those people, they're getting further and further out on deck. I don't understand what they're doing. They were inside at one point. Is this really what happens when you leave a door open? Uh oh. Uh oh! No! Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and we are ready to check out some more awesome creations. Now today, I have probably one of the most massive military ships that I've ever seen. So we're going to take it out, we might perform some missions, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do here today. Kind of depends on what kind of shows up and drops down in our lap. So. If you guys have any suggestions for Stormworks episodes, whether it be more sinking ship survival, ghost ship stuff, multiplayer, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, as far as multiplayer, I do believe we will be returning back with more of that. I don't think it's going to be a weekly thing. It might be an every other week, or it might be a weekly thing. I have to talk to the guys. I'm not 100% sure, so... Uh, be on the lookout for some more Stormworks towards the weekend. But anyways, if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. Alright, so this is the USNS Spearhead. Now, that sounds very familiar, because I believe we checked out a ship uh, somewhat similar. I've got a ton of ships downloaded from the workshop, by the way. Uh, let me find it here. Here it is. So we've checked out a ship that has the same name, but this is definitely a different ship. This is the USNS Spearhead here, and then we have the one up here, which I just recently downloaded. Hold on, let's spawn it in real quick. Yeah, this one has the landing pad. It's in a different position. It's got a just massive vehicle bay in it, which I think it has this huge ramp that we're going to try to get a vehicle in it. Now, from what I've seen, they... Oh, this is going to lag, isn't it? Uh... Uh, come on, Stormworks, you can do it. Oh, that is massive. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get a little bit of lag right here in the uh, little dock area, but as soon as we pull out, it should be okay. I have a very, very beefy computer, so I believe we'll be okay with this. My, this is a massive ship. What in the heck? All right, so we are aboard here. Let's go ahead, toggle button. That's going to be lights. Yeah, this one has a massive loading ramp on it. Check that out. So ideally what we're going to do, we're going to pull over to the left side, there's a beach area. Uh, we might spawn in, we're going to go with just one vehicle. We'll spawn it in and we'll see uh, if we can get it up into the uh, cargo bay here. What's this key button? Ooh, is this not labeled? That could be a little uh, awkward. I hope that's not the ramp. Uh, we're going to hold off clicking on that button real quick. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up and uh, move it around a bit. Uh, we need to find actually where the bridge is. This thing's massive. Alright. Oh, this is the front of the ship. Okay, so we're in the front of the ship now. I've been going on a little bit of a, uh, a maze to try to figure out where we're going. Throttle lever? Huh, why does it have a throttle? Oh, possibly for the water cannons, I'm thinking? Yeah, I think that's what those are. It looks like that might be a, a tow hook in the front. Okay, that's where we want to be. Okay, so we have to go back in. We'll figure this out, folks. Oh, boy. Okay, I think I know where we are now. Hold on, what's this? That's a light. Okay, this... Uh, oh, what was that? I saw something there. Uh, no, never mind. Air crew ready room. Oh, is this like a, for the air crew? Okay. That's a, that's a thing. How many decks are on this ship? Okay. All right. So here we are. This is the landing pad. Okay. So the, what is that for? Is that like a little control room for them? Could be. Uh, looks like it's got lights up here. Okay. So the bridge... You know, let's go this way. We're eventually going to get up to it. Could you imagine trying to sink this? Like, this would be the probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, ship that we were to ever sink. Now, I'm not saying we're going to do that uh, this episode, but what I'm saying is this uh, could be a possibility in the future. Definitely couldn't spawn this thing in multiplayer. All right, so we got our control room. All right, this is all of our engine start, so let's turn on ignitions. Oh, this is cool. Okay, is, it, is that a primal? Oh, that's a work light. Okay, so let's go safeties. So that's going to open up all those switches. I don't know if there was like a, a click all button. I don't think there was. So, wait, these are safety engines. What's what's a safety engine? Or actually, no, that's just... All right, that is the general engines. That's just a safety key for the buttons up here. So let's go prime. There we go. Fire, fire, fire. I love buttons. Is that a radar? 
that kind of looks like it's a radar or something. Oh, let's toggle that. All right, so we are all fired up here. Let's go ahead and turn on this light. Okay, so, oh, this is amazing looking. Dude, look at some of the new dials and stuff. Wow, that is cool. Yeah, a lot of this looks like it's been custom painted. Okay, so that's the depth gauge. Wow, this is impressive. Very, very cool stuff. There's your anchors. Uh, there's the ballast. Uh, let's see. Okay, all those say push buttons are flashing. Why are they flashing? Uh, they're pulsing. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, so it's navigation lights. Let's go antenna up. Let's put that up. There's throttle. Is there a cruise control? You know, these are on those switches, so I'm pretty sure I can just go... There we go. All right, let's get in the pilot seat. Hold on. Zoom out. Oh, that thing is so massive. Wow. Okay, I got to see how we're going to do this. Actually, you know, I don't think I've ever seen the uh, the nuke island or the nuclear plant that close. That is insane. Actually, the turning on this is insane. Uh oh, this thing might tip itself over. We might have to actually uh, flood some of the ballast and stuff to weigh it down a bit. Yeah, because that was a pretty minor turn, and that thing just shifted over. Okay, so we're going to turn, and we're going to kick the engines in reverse, and we're going to drop the ramp and try to load up a military vehicle in here. And we'll go on a little military uh, cruise. I don't know, maybe I downloaded some of the military missions. There's been some custom missions. Uh, maybe I can get one of those out. Uh, cable out, ramp out. Okay, so there it goes. All right, it's unfolding. Don't, don't hit the bottom. Come on, ramp, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, that's going out. Okay, the whole thing's still unfolding. Uh, is it going to hit bottom here is the question. All right, there it goes. Ramp is... Unfold it. Okay, ramp's good. So, do we need a lockdown? Okay, no, oh, I don't think so. Okay, let's go check that ramp real quick. Dude, that is too cool. Okay, so we have a ramp. So, you could drive, like, full-on vehicles up your rescue vehicles. And there's little uh, uh, magnets and stuff that you can lock them down with. Alright, let's go grab a vehicle real quick. We'll load it up. Alright, so we're gonna get a rescue truck up into that ship. Let's go ahead, we're gonna jump in here. I don't know if we've ever played like a ferry before. Okay, so here we are with our rescue truck. We just gotta get over there to the beach, and we will hopefully drive this up that ramp. I think it's unfolded all the way. Of course, I think we might have parked a little too close to the beach. Maybe we should have had the ramp out first, and then backed up. I'm not really sure, uh, but let's get down here. All right, here we go. Oh, I do. The steering on this truck is so delayed. Like, it feels like it just, it rolls. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. And we are in. Oh, that is so cool. Now, question is, how do we, oh, we're going to have to turn here. Okay, turn, cut the wheel over this way. All right, so we have loaded a vehicle up. So we have the option to drop this off and do island rescues. That's too cool. Okay, now question is how... Are, oh, I can hardly see. Uh, we'll park it here. Okay, let's go ahead. Turn off the... Uh-oh. Okay, no, no, no. Don't move on us. Uh, engage the brake. Okay, turn off the ignition. Cool. All right, so we'll just have to get some connectors, which I'm pretty sure... Connectors. Let's go ahead and light those up. And let's go ahead and light up all those. That way we can lock this thing down. All right, I heard a click right there. I think we have the front connector. Is it connected? Uh, no, it's actually connected to the ground, I think. Um, let's go ahead and try to grab the handle. No, it's attached itself to the ground. You know, that might actually be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and close this up. We're going to put the ramp up, and we are going to get out to sea here. All right, so we are going to use uh, one of the Coast Guard Jayhawks. Now, I know it's probably, or uh, well, it's not accurate if we're doing, like, military or Navy exercises. I'm not sure the actual Coast Guard would be directly involved, uh, but we're going to do that here today. Hold on, let's go ahead and close that side door. All right, so that's our cable systems there. I believe we've flown this before, so I'm not really going to show it off. Uh, I'm just going to get it cranked up, and we're going to get it over to the boat, because I don't even know if we're going to use this thing. Uh, but honestly, it's always good to have one of these. If you have a spot on your boat, please attach a helicopter to it, because you never know when you're going to need it. All right, so let's get out of here. 
All right, so for what I can tell, this boat does not have any sort of magnets for the actual helicopter. The helicopter's got a magnet that goes down, but other than that, this thing's gonna probably slide back up against that uh, little fence area, which that will be okay. That guardrail should hold on to the helicopter. All right, so we do have a mission. There apparently was a military incident that happened. Uh, could have been a training exercise that went wrong. We have to rescue the military and the SAR, or the Stormworks Assault Rescue Troops from the area so let's go see where they've crashed out at it's an island rescue so that's gonna be the first time I think we've ever done one of those all right so the island is way over here to the left side so we'll need to travel there I really hope it's the mega island like we've flown over it we've never actually been on it oh I hope that helicopter holds on okay so that's 24 kilometer oh is that really wait which one's the which one's the rescue hold on let's go back out 24 kilometers Oh, geez, that's going to be the hospital over there. That is the furthest out I've ever seen a mission spawn. Like, this is literally going to take, I don't know, probably, depending on, this is not a very fast boat. You don't want to go that fast, at least, uh, because of the helicopter. This is going to take a while, so let's go ahead. We'll try to kick up the engines a bit, uh, but hopefully those troops can hang on there. All right, we are finally at full speed. It took me a while to get the, uh, the throttle up all the way. Uh, let's go ahead and check the helicopter back here. It looks somewhat secure. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, it is secure now. That is a very, very bad way to secure a helicopter. Oh, boy. All right, so let's go ahead and go. Are we still... Is it still setting? No, it's not moving anymore. Okay, so that should be good to go. Uh, let's go below deck. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, I think we're about to lose our vehicle. Hold on, let's get down below here. Oh, buddy. Oh, thankfully, I believe the ramp saved it. Okay, so this winching, this is not working. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. We're still heading in the right direction. Yeah, 22 kilometers out. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to, let's see, the brakes are on. Let's turn off that connecting winch and we're going to let cable down. I'm going to connect to one of the side connectors here. Uh, we'll drag it all the way over to the side because... It attached to the floor, and that is obviously not working. So let's go ahead. Uh, okay, I need to be able to grab you here. Hold on, handle, handle, handle. Ooh, buddy. Oh, this is going to be bad if this thing flies off. Uh, we do not want to lose this this way. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and drag this out over here. Uh, let's see which push button. I think it's toggle button here. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to come back this way. We need to make sure you are secured. Okay, so let's get you. Uh, come on. Oh, this is going to be bad if this doesn't work. All right, I need you to stay right there. We're going to try to get these two to connect together. It keeps wanting to attach to the bottom, uh, which is no good for me. Uh, let's go. Warning lights. Okay, it's over here. Connecting winch. Did it connect to the other connector? Did it connect back to the bottom? Yeah, this thing is just a pain. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, we might lose this. All right, I do believe we have this thing somewhat secured now. It did roll out a bit, uh, but I think we're actually okay now. It's not pretty. Uh, like, we probably should have tried to hook it in a little better, but I think for the most part, we're going to be okay here. Oh, that was a close one. All right, we are coming up. We are about 2.2 kilometers out. Uh, this has been an extremely, extremely long trip. And then we have to track all the way back to a, a, a ho I'm assuming a hospital island, which is back how many kilometers? 22 kilometers back that way. That's crazy. Oh, boy. Now, I was hoping this was going to be on the mega island, but it does not appear to be on that island. But if I'm not mistaken, wow, there might be a... There's a lot of people out here. Oh, jeez. Is that seven targets? Well, I wouldn't say targets. Seven victims. Oh, boy. Uh, this might take several trips. We might drop the rescue vehicle. This island might not be big enough for that. I was kind of hoping it was going to be on the mega island. Uh, that way we can maybe drop the truck off and drive and figure out where these people are. Uh, but it appears to be an island maybe that we haven't been to before. It kind of looks a little bit like the Lighthouse Island. So we're going to have to figure out our approach here. We'll probably uh, drop anchor or something right beside it. But yeah, we're getting close here. 
All right, so from what I can tell, this looks to be ruins. I see smoke coming from the island, and I just watched a boat launch itself. What in the heck happened here? What is going on? Uh, okay, I don't know what kind of situation we're getting ourselves into here, but I see a boat, and that boat looks like a... Wait, is that coming this way? Uh, that boat looks like it's coming this way. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, folks. I see fire. Uh, so, I don't... Do we have water? Yeah, we have water cannons on the top. I don't know if we're going to be able to get in there, though. Oh, that boat is capsized. Okay, we need to get around this boat. This boat is going to kill us. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, oh, what is happening here? What went on? That is crazy. All right, so the boat is currently doing some sort of break dance. I think a part of the game might be broken. It looks like something blew up up here. What? What is all that stuff? Okay, we're gonna, let's go ahead and start to slow down, back off the main engines. Uh, hopefully we don't launch that helicopter off. Dude, something serious has gone on here, Hans. Let's go ahead and lose. We're gonna go ahead and lose all speed real quick. All right, there we go. Wait, where'd that boat go? Uh, we didn't just hit the boat, did we? I hope not, hold on, let's go ahead and look off the side here. Oh, what in the heck has happened on this island? Is this a training exercise gone wrong? Or is it something bigger? Dude, I don't know what is up with that ship over there. Okay, so we're on the back side of the island. We should have visual, possibly. No, we don't. Okay, I see fire. We need to get in the bird real quick. Uh, I would say I could turn the ship and maybe aim it in there, but I don't think we're squeezing in that gap, so let's go ahead and assess the situation. Thankfully, this uh, this helicopter chose to actually stay on. All right, let's go ahead and get up in the air real quick, and we have a bit of rescuing to do. This is probably going to take several trips. I don't think I have enough seats here. All right, bird is in the air. This is definitely looking like a training exercise gone wrong. Uh, I can see one of the ships that is engulfed in flames down there. And then, of course, you have the other ship, which is... I don't know what it's doing over there. It's actually quite frightening. Uh, it appears that a lot of the crew have made it to the shore. Uh, I don't know. There's something on the right side of the island. I kind of thought... I saw the ruins up there, and I thought maybe that had something uh, uh, involved with it, but it actually isn't. What the heck is that over there? Is there another person on the island over there? Dude, there's another person over there. It's not telling me to rescue him, though. He's standing he's standing on the cliff on the right side. I tell you what, this is a very, very awkward spot. Uh, I would say, yeah, we could probably get a, a small boat in there, but with the other boat currently being... Is that boat even on fire? I think it is. I think it's actually coming off the front of that. Could be coming off of some wreckage here. Uh, but we need to go ahead and get these troops rescued because this is a... It's in a pretty situation here. Alright, so from what I can tell, it doesn't appear like there's a very safe place to put the bird down. Uh, I don't have a basket or anything. I have a winch on the side of it. Uh, we might have to do like a low hover over here, which is going to be pretty dangerous. Because uh, I don't want to get this thing stuck or crashed into the water, but we're going to have to do this. So let's go ahead. Oh, buddy. We're getting really close to the flames there. I don't know what the flames are actually on. I thought it was the boat, but it appears to be morely on the island. Maybe where these uh, ships possibly crashed into each other. Uh, you know what? We might actually be able to go over here. No, this is good. Okay, this is a good area. Let's go down a little further. Oh, up a little bit. Okay, auto hover is on. I think this is probably okay. All right, so we got to go rescue these troops real quick. Um, let's get some light on in here. It seems a little bit dark. All right, buddies, we're going to have to sort the priorities out real quick. Uh, these are troops? <laughs> okay, well, maybe they don't have troop uniforms. Yeah, that's definitely not a troop right there. These actually look like a bunch of crazy people. Uh, let's go ahead and pick these people up. Okay, you're going to need to follow me. Here, we'll pick you up. All right, so we're going to go with a little bit of a different approach here. Uh, we're going to tell you to stop following. We're going to have to have people stand up here. I do not want to make several trips. Uh, because it is a very, very awkward spot. So I was actually able to put the bird down on the uh, on the shore here. It's not really pretty, but I think this is going to work because they can, and I kind of forgot about this, uh, the characters will stand uh, if you place them even in like a helicopter like this, which is completely unsafe, but uh, this is going to work. Okay, we got three more to load up here. 
All right, it would appear that I was able to cram everybody in here. That's absolutely amazing. All right, we're going to go ahead and close this door real quick. That way nobody flies out on the flight back to the uh, to the rescue ship. But yeah, I don't know what kind of... Uh, actually, could we place somebody else in there? No, am I holding somebody? Oh, geez, I'm holding somebody. Okay, you know what? Here, you sit there. Okay, cool. All right, let's get in the pilot seat here. We're going to crank up the bird. Yeah, this is the biggest rescue we've ever done. Now, I can see where this is a military incident. I would like to see where, uh, for the workshop creators to be able to customize what the characters look like because there is some relatively, uh, I would say military-ish uh, ways to dress your character, but the person with the shark head, yeah, that's not too military. Uh, but I do like the incident scene. That's actually really cool, and I still have no clue what's happened to that ship over there. Uh, that's absolutely crazy looking. All right, let's go uh, land the bird back on the helicopter and get all of these people unloaded. All right, here we go. We have made a uh, contact touchdown. We are good to go to unload all of these people. Oh boy, that was that was actually kind of intense. I wasn't sure what was going to happen there, uh, but yeah, we got it all taken care of. All right, let's go ahead and turn all of that off. Let's get the lights off here, and we are going to get these people to safety. All right, everybody is loaded out of the helicopter. To be honest with you, these are all military personnel. They could probably do whatever they want. Uh, I could direct them to all... You know, we're going to probably... Uh, it's going to get pretty intense here in a minute. We're going to go ahead and load them. At least get them in a room in here. Uh, there was like a little staging room or something that I could put them in. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and follow me, including you with the, uh, the shark helmet on, because that is like the coolest attire I've ever seen. Totally makes sense. All right, all the survivors are loaded up, ready to go here. Let's go ahead and turn our engines back on. All right, so it's going to get a little bit rough on the way back to the hospital island. So uh, I got everybody actually inside of the ship. Yeah, we're not missing anything else. I guess somebody else will have to come out here and actually put out the fire and go through what the heck happened here in this military operation. That makes no sense. All right, let's get moving here. All right, we are currently dealing with some brutal winds right now. That's nothing that this ship can't handle, though. At least I think. Uh, but yeah, this is a... Uh, oh, look at those waves. Oh, that is crazy looking. Then just comparing some of these waves to how big this ship is. Yeah, this thing... Oh, this is getting knocked around pretty bad. Uh oh. Oh, no, no, no. No, I think we're about to lose our truck. Oh, I think we're about to lose the truck. The truck's about to fly out the back. No. No. That magnet just can't hold on much longer. Yeah, I think it's going to slip. I'm almost tempted to go back there and try to rescue it again. Uh, but I better go ahead and stay in the bridge here because these waves are rough. Dude, this ship is getting thrown around so bad right now. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Can we flood this? Okay, that's going to be the engine starters. I think all the flooding is going to be up either here. Actually, is this a GPS? Oh, this is actually giving us coordinates. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's go ahead and go up through here. Like, where's our... Dude, we're just getting... I think we're spinning right now. Hold on, are the engines off? Do we have just one side running or something? No? Okay, that's running. Refire that. Okay, make sure that's running. Something just does not feel right. Okay, those are both running right now. Yeah, we just did a complete 360 uh, from where we need to... Oh, no. No, no, no. 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 Oh, have we? How have we? No, oh, there goes the helicopter. No. <laughs> oh, uh oh, uh oh. I've never seen a boat travel like this. Like I've never seen it fly. Uh, we might be in trouble here. There is not a sinking ship going on right now, but there might be a capsizing ship going on. Look at this thing get tossed around. This is a huge ship. Dude, these are the biggest open water waves I've ever seen in the game. Like, we're not around any of the islands right now, so these things are just massive. Oh, boy. Like, it's going to go... It actually splashes up in the uh, the storage deck. Like, the hangar, that is a... Uh, that's quite amazing looking. That is a sight to behold here in Stormworks. The question is, are we making any sort of headway? I do not believe we really are. Hold uh, on, let's go... Really? We made it like two kilometers? Oh, this is going to be a pain. Uh-oh, we're getting... No, 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 counter that. Count oh, we're going to lose the truck. We're about to lose the truck. How is it still hanging on right now? I need I'm trying to counter this. Yeah, that wave just hit us in a very, very awkward spot. 
We have come so close to capsizing, but this ship is just, it's, it's holding on. I don't want to say it's making it very good or very easy, but it's doing a good job at holding on here. Uh, if you can see, yeah, just from the, uh, just from the bridge here, how tall these waves are. They're like, they're equally as tall as the bridge itself, which is crazy looking. And that truck continues just to hold on. I'm not really sure. I think it's the magnet, possibly, uh, that's somehow making it hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. There goes the truck. Oh, rip rescue truck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was going to hang on for much longer. All right. We're still chugging through here. We're going to get out of this uh, heavy wind area, and hopefully we'll be able to get back to the island. Oh, dear. Oh, we just got hit by a huge wave. Uh oh, no, 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 We gotta go with the waves. Oh, if we get hit sideways here, that might be game over. On, uh, no, 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 no. Why are those people, they're getting further and further out on deck. I don't understand what they're doing. They were inside at one point. Is this really what happens when you leave a door open? Uh oh. Uh oh, no, no, we just lost one. Okay, one just got in the, oh, wait, wait, come on. No, 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 I don't have any. Okay, I don't have any propellers in the water. Jeez, we just lost a guy. Okay. Oh, how did we not go over there? Oh, that wave's gonna hurt. That wave's gonna hurt there. No. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. No, no, no. Come on. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, we're losing passengers. No, no, no. No, we just capsized. Oh no, folks. That's the first time I think we've full blown capsized. No, no, no. Okay, haunt. No, no, no. Okay. Are we flooding? Are we... F oh, wait. We're flooding. Oh, this just turned into, like, unintentional sinking ship survival. This might be the end. We have capsized. Now, it's not sinking. Like, it doesn't appear to be going down. It's like there's enough buoyancy here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Dude. We're about to emerge from a cap... Oh, never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. What is it doing? Oh, yeah. We're dead in the water. We're dead. All right, get up. Get up. Okay, let's just try to escape the boat at least. Oh, this is like one of the scariest things ever. Okay, we need to... Hold on, let's... Okay, that's full of water. Swim up here. Come on. Okay, we've got a little bit of time here. There's not too much water. Oh, there's... This side's full. Okay, on, go in here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. What the heck? No. <laughs> Dude, I spent all that time to rescue those people just to have this thing capsize. Oh, I thought really we could fight those. Uh, it is, yeah, that's a no-go right there. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's the deck. Dude, what about the other passengers? One got flung out that way. Okay, we need to... Oh, yeah, they're gone. Yeah, we don't have a chance there. On, let's go up. Let's get up. Come on. Come on, break the surface. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, that might come slamming. Oh, I thought that was going to slam back down on us. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's just get up on this. All right. Yep, this is where we're going to have to sit and wait for our rescue now. Oh, that is very, very unfortunate. Well, I don't know what else to do, guys. Uh, we capsized. I was fighting it. There was no fighting these waves. Like, if we would have been in a smaller boat, it would have chunked us sooner. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, here comes some water. Oh, that almost washed us off. Oh, that almost washed us off. All right. Well, I guess it's going to wrap it up this episode, guys. I don't have anything else I can do here. The ship's not built to sink. That's the thing. I could have clicked a button and had it go to the bottom of the ocean, but it doesn't have that button. Uh, I was actually intending on uh, maybe actually getting back to shore and not doing a sinking ship survival. I did want to see what this thing could do against waves. Uh, and obviously it did a good job. It held up for a long time, but I don't know what can really hold up to some of these waves. Like I tried to go with them, but it was, it was pretty much, you weren't going to survive. But anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. If you guys have any suggestions for future episodes of Stormworks, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see, uh, whether it be multiplayer, more actual sinking ship survival opposed to what this was, more rescues, just creations in general. But yeah. Hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time.